a group of ladies was having a conversation and, and that kind of some questions came up. So one of them is, I guess this is a time I never heard this term before. Maybe you've heard of mm -hmm. it with women. Don't let your boyfriend stop you from meeting your husband. You've heard that before. I've heard that a couple of times. And then, and then, you know, they reference the, the, <laughs> they reference the Cassie, the Cassie situation with Diddy, right? Where, when she was dating Diddy and then she was uh, with the trainer and she actually ends up marrying the trainer, right? So Diddy's her boyfriend at the time and yeah. she meets the trainer and then the trainer becomes a husband. So don't let your boyfriend stop you from meeting your husband. This is interesting. You were, well, you were with at dinner with a group of women who think like this? <laughs> <laughs> got, Messy it, boots. That's me. So this that's this is this is disturbing. This is disturbing for me because I feel like I feel like um okay. <laughs> why are you why are you here? Right? If you like to have a good time, not a long time. Like a placeholder, right? All right, I get Tell it. Us, you got to ask, uh, am I a placeholder? There's some tough questions that men don't want to ask either. Hey, it's, if you could date anybody on earth, who would it be? <laughs> if she don't mention you, also ask, hey, baby, what, what's your plan for the next year or two? And if you're not in that uh, fucking plan, guess what? My boy, you're a placeholder or, you know, you just there for a fun time. That's what you have to ask. And also, fellas, read the energy. What do you want from me? Well, you know, I just want to, if, if they don't have a clear answer right away, bro, you just here for a short period of time. And I can't get up here and talk about the babies every week and then be mad at that comment. But my thing is this, my thing is this, the placeholder thing is not, it's not, I'm not mad at a placeholder because it's like everybody, you're not trying to, sometimes you just want to have a good time, right? Everything yep. is not meant to be forever. You might just want, you dating somebody, we could at least have a good summer. Right. We'll, we'll reassess, yeah. we'll reassess things in October, but we can at least have a good summer. Um, and, and, yep. and no harm, no foul. Right. We, we had a good time. We went to restaurants. We might have taken a trip or two. Like it's no harm, no foul. Right. But okay. If you're in a committed relationship with somebody and you yeah. know, you, you know, you don't like that's stir that's disturbing to me. Why why be in a relationship with somebody if you are actively looking for oh, I the do person this. that you want to marry? For for the same reason why we be in a relationship and fuck around. That's different. How? Because you could be in a marriage. What? <laughs> you could be in a marriage. Look, what? Hold on. That, and I know they say I'd be caping for the women, and I don't, because I had women before <laughs> the show. It's just but how is that different? I'm not condoning. If I got a girl and I'm fucking around, not me, but men in general, right? How is that any different than a woman being like, okay, I'm going to date you, but if I come across Idris Elba or whomever the fuck they want? I'm going to say, so first of all, I'm not condoning this, right? This is my disclaimer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not condoning this, but I'm just speaking from a rational standpoint. Can if we do get a disclaimer at the bottom, please? Right, exactly. <laughs> I do not condone this behavior. If you're with yeah. somebody, you could you could you could fuck around on them, but that doesn't mean that you don't love them, right? If they're still your number one priority, they're still your number one priority, and you just what Jay said. I was just one of the girls. I was going to get right back. Like it's not that, that serious. A lot though. No, it, it does. Cool I'm, I'm, not, I'm not condoning it, but what I'm saying is that mm -hmm. that's. That happens all the time. But what I'm saying is that if you're if you're saying like um <laughs> if you're saying I know I know I'm with you, but I yeah. know I don't I know I don't I know that I want somebody better than you, right? And then when I meet somebody better than you, I'm going to leave you. That's different from just it, it, punching. You know, yeah, like because like I said, you could be married and still and still play the side game, right? But you know that. The side is never going to take the the place of the queen, right? Like, you know that. So, but yeah, but it's different from saying like I'm gonna be with this person, and I'm actively <laughs> trying to find somebody else that's better than that person while I'm with that person. That's crazy. Or 
Kevin Samuels back, Steph is Cole back, King Dre back. Why not just be better so you don't have to go through that? Be better with who? Just be better as a person. Like you have to get better, level up, uh, be better with emotional quotient, your purpose, body, bag, public adornment, or having status. A lot of them problems go away if you're just working. Do I think it's wrong? Yeah, but if, okay, let's be real. We all, as men, men, it's just us talking. They know women tuning in. You know if a certain girl walks in the room, for most men, if Lotto walked in the room and she left 21 after birthday bash, you leaving your girl for Lotto. <laughs> nah, Sorry, nah, Miss nah, Lamama. Nah, nah. Love. Leaving your girl and, and trying to catch a vibe is two different things. I don't think people will literally leave their family, their girl, for they some. They're leaving their family for less. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> they get on here, yo, you talk about your babies is immature. Show me your real life then. <laughs> cool. That's the reason why y'all don't be posting your others is because then the one y'all really dealing with going to get to liking all them pictures back to back and being petty. Mm-hmm. And shout out to my other little babies that I don't even deal with no more. Quit going to check on my old baby page to see if me and her doing something. If <laughs> we do something, I'm going to post it on the main on my main page. My main page. <laughs> the fuck? How are you a stalker and I don't even talk to you? Oh, on the main page. <laughs> on the main. Yeah. Page. So does it happen? Yes, but fellas, I think when you're dating somebody, especially if you like them, it's a lesson that I have to tell Xander. Can't be too likey. If you like a person, play it cool. If you like her more than she likes you, you already fucked up. But ask if you can date anybody in the world, baby, who would it be? And don't act like you're going to get mad. They'll tell you the truth if they see that you're not possessive about it. Now, you can go be mad on your own when she leaves. But if the answer's not you, then you need to go find somebody that has you as number one. What do you think of the theory that you should date somebody who likes you and not who you like? That likes you and not who you like? Yeah, because sometimes as a man, you can like the person more, but we may have me a woman they, that is just... They want you more than you want them. Yep. I don't agree with that. I mean, I, I've heard people say that before. I've heard women say that a lot. Like, yo, you should... The man should always be in love with you more than you're in love with the man. I don't agree with that. I feel oh, like... Uh, what? Who's, who's it? T Teddy Pendergrass? 50-50? 50-50 love. Like, we need the 50-50 love. Not 70-30, not 60-40, not 80-20. Yep. 50 50 right because um gotcha. i'm not going to be doing backflips and you doing the bare minimum like big facts i'm i i'm getting burned out if i'm doing that like i'm not doing that i'm not putting the fourth maximum effort for you to just cruise control like what the fuck who does that like so i don't especially agree. if you live in real life <laughs> uh, i don't agree with that i'm a 50 50 type dude when it comes to that like gotcha. You gotta, you gotta be just as into me as I'm into you, or it's not gonna work.